everybody, I'm Rebecca LeClaire on behalf of Bristol Mountain today. It's exciting to meet Morgan Shield. Check it out. So Morgan Shield, tell us about growing up here at Bristol Mountain. When did you start skiing? What age? I started skiing at five years old. Um, with your little brother? With my little brother, yeah. We kind of just got thrown on the slopes and we figured it out and we figured out that it was really, really fun to do too. Like uh, my brother was on a leash for a little bit. <laughs> uh, my mom and dad bring him down. Well, but that now you're a mogul skier and it took somebody like Johnny Kretz. Let's bring him in. He's, he's your coach. Yeah. He is still the Bristol Mountain freestyle coach. Johnny, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Because, you know, people out there think, Here's a woman from Pittsburgh. She grew up on Bristol Mountain learning her craft, thanks to people like you. Mm -hmm. And other kids could do the same, but what does it take to be a mogul skier? The first element is, is you gotta wanna come out and have a good time. And our kids, uh, they will ski all day long. And when the lift stops, sometimes they try to hike up the mountain and ski some more, because we try to make it as fun as possible. And, and it worked for you, right? Yeah, it did. Um, it's a lot of fun, too. But when did you say, hey, you know, I really want to go to the next level. I want to be an Olympian someday. I think that came with when I uh, actually met an Olympian. Uh, Hannah Carney is the gold medalist and bro Olympic bronze medalist um, for Team USA. And she's just a legend. And I got the chance to train with her. Inspired you. Yeah, I wanted to be like her. Well, U.S. national champion, had two victories on the World Cup and the best shot uh, for any American making the U.S. ski and snowboard team and getting to the Olympics in South Korea. Johnny, what does it take to get to this level when we see our kids coming down the hill to think maybe someday they could be an Olympian too? Yeah, it just takes a lot of grit and determination, uh, a lot of hard work, and, and it really takes, again, the kids that really excel and the ones that are really having the best time. It takes a lot of sacrifices for yourself and your family, time, money, and a lot of work on the hill. And it's cold out there, but tell us what it is that inspires you to continue to try to reach for that gold medal. Um, I think my brothers really inspire me. Just my little brother has this, I don't know, humbleness and joyfulness that kind of just brings out the best in me and the fact that I actually had to leave him uh, when I was 16 to go out and train. Like, I didn't get to see my little brother go to high school at all. Like, this past weekend I got to see him play football for the first time in my, in his high school career and it was super special, but I gave that up to chase my dream. And it's so exciting. I think you mentioned it yourself. You've even developed a podium smile because you've been there enough already. You're hoping the same for South Korea. Can you give us the podium smile? Yeah, the po yeah it's this <laughs> one. <laughs> Is that when you're cold and tired? Yeah, it's when you're tired of smiling and you're just like, ah. But if you're on the podium, it means you're a winner. It does, it does. <laughs> so let's hope for that in February. For more information on the Bristol Mountain Freestyle Program, school snow sports clubs, multi-week brigade programs, and first-timer lesson packages, please contact the staff at Bristol Mountain or visit bristolmountain.com.